name is Mark Beeson. I work for Herbert Feed and Grain out of Verdigree, Nebraska. We do custom spraying. I've been applicating for 20 years now. It's been wet since 2013. It's been a challenge every year getting in the fields, getting across the fields to the low spots. Spraying these South Dakota River Hills and Nebraska River Hills, you can't run your conventional skinny tires. It isn't the right tire for the application. The problem with the, the conventional tires is, is leaving those tracks and getting stuck. Uh, as soon as you would start sinking with the, the conventional tires, you're losing your horsepower right away. You lose your hydraulic uh, pressure to the wheel motors, and then, then you're in trouble. The wet soil, you can't run your skinny tire across the field. You'll just bury it. He come to me and said the problems he was having, wanted a better tire than what they were running. This was the best tire I could put on for his application. We decided to put these LSWs on this R4038 here, and I knew right away, driving out of the yard, it, would, it was a different machine. You couldn't buy them back from him. There was no chance you were going to buy them back from him. Yeah, the, the LSW is you know, it's the same size tire, just in a bigger rim, lower side wall. Some people see these wide flotation tires as, yeah, they're going to do more damage or they're going to not be good for their fields or their crops, and, and it's not. It's the total opposite. What we're finding is these LSWs, they're staying above, above ground. With the conventional tires, during, during uh, post-spraying, you're basically making pinch rows where your yield potential has gone down immediately from there. I've done early post-spraying with LSWs, I run over two, three trifoliate soybeans, two leaf corn, and you cannot tell I was out there after I left. When everybody else was sitting dormant because it was too wet to spray or the ground wasn't ready, Mark Beeson was running circles around them. Climbing the hills of the side hills, it just stays planted. It does not dog track on you. You just, you drive straight up and down these hills. Well, guys don't like paying that extra with your tire slippage and it's modern that you're basically over spraying. It just goes through them a lot smoother. You can hit them and keep your speed up, keep your, your spray pressure at an optimum working condition. The OptiTorque tread design, uh, you're, it's more bang for the buck. You're putting more tire on the ground. Uh, you have no slippage, awesome traction. Conventional tires or even the old flotation tires from years ago, yeah, you're, you were throwing mud for a quarter mile before they would clean out. With these LSWs, they're clean. They're not throwing mud on the machine. They're not throwing mud up, you know, on common traffic. It's just really nice. It's not uncommon for the sprayers to travel two, three hours to a client's field to spray, to do custom spraying. Conventional skinny tire heated up, the sucker likes to bounce. These LSWs, they come out of it instantly. There is no road hop, there's no nothing. This makes a totally different machine out of it. And I don't think it's no matter what color machine it is, it's gonna be make a big difference. Once he ran it, everything that we said between the turning radius, the lower RPMs, the fuel consumption, uh, soil compaction, the fact that he could go places he never got before was the leading seller. I have probably anywhere from 10 to 15 sets out at this point. I've never had anybody say they didn't absolutely love them. With these LSWs, it's, it's a game changer. I mean, it's best tire made right now, game over.